my name is Douglas Block. I'm an author and depression counselor. Welcome to your depression recovery channel where each week we share practical tools and coping strategies for healing from depression and anxiety. Today I wanted to share with you a book that has been very helpful in my mental health recovery. The book is called Darkness Visible, A Memoir of Madness by William Styron, a Pulitzer Prize winning author. He wrote the book Sophie's Choice, which many of you have probably heard of. Like many writers, uh, Styron had the habit of drinking excessively. He would stay up late at night, drink, 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 and then get up late and write in the afternoon. But one day, uh, when he was 60 years old in 1985, he decided to stop drinking. But he did so abruptly. And that abrupt stoppage produces changes in his brain that led to deep depression and suicidal thinking. And the only way he avoided suicide was to check himself into a hospital for six weeks. This began a years-long struggle with mental illness that resulted in uh, Styron's book, Darkness Visible. And when it was published, uh, it hit a nerve. Thousands upon thousands of thousands of readers wrote in saying it described their situation perfectly, and the book went on to become a national bestseller. I first started reading Darkness Visible in 1996, 1997, when I was in the middle of a really bad depressive episode. People said, why are you reading a book about depression when you're depressed? Doesn't that even make you more depressed? I said, no, not at all, because Styron describes the inner landscape of depression so well that I feel consoled. I feel like here's someone who understands me. I'm not alone. And that evidently is how millions of people felt, which is why the book became a bestseller. Now I'd like to describe some other ways that this book has really helped me in my mental health recovery. First, as I mentioned earlier, Styron validated uh, my depression. Here is a writer who's depressed, I said. And I'm depressed, and I'm a writer. Hey, this makes sense. And as it turns out, Bill Styron and I are in good company because depression, anxiety, and even suicide are occupational hazards of being a writer. Here's a few people I just noted down who have suffered from these travails. Um, Tennessee Williams, the playwright, Ernest Hemingway, Sylvia Plath, the poet, Kurt Vonnegut Jr., the novelist, and J.K. Rowling, who, of course, did uh, Harry Potter. Second, Styron uses some exquisite and beautiful imagery to describe the state of expression. Here is one of my favorite quotations from the book showing his talent as a writer. Depression is not an immediately identifiable pain like that of a broken limb. It may be more accurate to say that despair, owing to some evil trick played on the sick brain by the inhabiting psyche, comes to resemble the diabolical discomfort of being imprisoned in a fiercely overheated room. And because no breeze stirs this cauldron, because there is no escape from this smothering confinement, it is entirely natural that the victim begins to ceaselessly think of oblivion. Once again, I felt that someone truly understood my pain. The third thing that helped me was that Styron affirmed that depression is time limited. It doesn't go on forever. If we can just hang in there, the pain will go away eventually and we'll get well. In Styron's case, as I mentioned, he checked himself into a hospital, which he found in a really good place for healing. He said time and seclusion is what got him better. After he was fully healed of the depression and started his life again, he said the following uh, to indicate that one can really emerge from a depression whole and well. This is a beautiful quote, and I hope you enjoy it. By far the great majority of the people who go through even the severest depression survive it and live ever afterward at least as happily as their unafflicted counterparts. Save for the awfulness of certain memories it leaves, acute depression inflicts few permanent wounds. And to describe his emergence from his depressive episode, Styron closes the book with these words from Dante. And so we came forth and once again beheld the stars. I recommend Darkness Visible to all the viewers out there. If you start to read it and you feel more depressed, then stop but I'm sure that most of you will really uh, gain benefit from the solace that this book brings and its beautiful description of depression and recovery. 
By the way, after I got well in 1997, Darkness Visible inspired me to write my own memoir of madness. It's called When Going Through Hell, Don't Stop, A Survivor's Guide to Overcoming Anxiety and Depression. And uh, I made a video about this book, and if you want to see that video, I will put a link in the comments section. This has been Douglas Block. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something from it. If you want to give me some feedback, simply write in the comments section or email me at douglasblock at gmail.com. Or if you want to learn about the work I do, uh, subscribe to my channel or visit my website, healingfromdepression.com. Simply click on the links in the closing credits. And until we meet again, I wish you the best in your mental health recovery. Thank you.